In this session, we are going to talk about moderation analysis with categorical variables using Smart PLS. Now, here is the model that I'm interested in testing. The type of bank, whether it's a public sector bank or a private sector bank, could moderate the relationship between organizational commitment and collaborative culture, perceived organizational support and collaborative culture. So here are the two hypotheses that I have proposed. Type of bank moderates the relationship between organizational commitment and organizational culture. And H2, type of bank moderates the relationship between perceived organizational support and organizational culture. Now, it's always a good idea to give direction to your moderator. Like, which type of bank will have a more stronger relationship? Public sector bank might have stronger relationship between organizational commitment and collaborative culture in comparison to private sector bank or it could be the other way around but for the sake of this video uh, i haven't given any direction uh, to the relationships now before we move on and use it in smart pls we will have to create a dummy variables now how do we create dummy variable this is the variable and currently one means public two means private so how do we create dummy variables we will go to transform create dummy variables we want to create dummy variable for type and we gave it a root name type and press ok and go back to your data file and here are your dummy variables now two since we've got two categories so two dummy variables but we are going to use only one in our analysis because the other one or the other category will serve as a reference now for details i've got a video on the channel uh, categorical predictors using spss in in which i've talked in greater detail about dummy variables please watch that video so here this means that this is a private sector bank this is a public sector bank private uh, sorry public public private so zero in this dummy variable represents private and one represents public but here in type 2 it is one represents private and zero represents public so this single variable is created or is actually divided into two dummy variables. Now, how do we use this in Smart PLS as a moderator? So moving on, here's the model that I want to test. But before we move on to test the model, there are a few things that one should note. So a number of, of options you will see when you are putting a categorical variable as a moderator or when you see moderation. So what type of interaction effect do you want to check? Product indicator approach when your IV or the moderator is measured reflectively. So we use product indicator approach. In this example, we are going to use product indicator approach because the independent variables are reflective. You, you use two stage approach when the IV or the moderator is measured formatively. And the product term generation, in this case, since the moderator is categorical, we are going to use unstandardized. So moving on, let's see and let's run our model. So without moderation, first we need to get R square. So what's the R square value before the moderator or moderation, moderation effect is added onto the model? So let's run, you can, uh, you can run PLS algorithm, start. And let's see what's R square. So R square is 0.542. Now, next step is let's add moderator to this analysis. So let's keep a note of this R square. So when it's included, oh sorry, when it's excluded, the R square is 0.542. So when you add the interaction effects, how do you add the interaction effects? We have already added the type of bank that is our moderator this one type 1 here now how do you create the interaction effect so what you do is you click 
because this particular moderator is moderating these two relationship so the relationship it moderates you have to click the endogenous variable so right click the endogenous variable add moderating effect so which is your moderator your moderator is type of bank your independent variable is OC and we are going to use product indicator approach product term generation is unstandardized leave it automatic and press OK so this is your first moderating effect now let's add between POS and CC right click add moderating effect your moderator variable is type of bank POS is your independent variable product indicator unstandardized and press OK it's always a good idea to rename your moderating effects just to make sure the analysis is easier and the interpretation is easier so let's name it moderation underscore so what are the variables OC underscore type let's do the other one right click rename moderation underscore POS underscore type now both moderating effects are added the next step is to run the model how do you run the model calculate bootstrap let's do basic bootstrapping normally it's 5000 but for the sake of this video we are going to keep it to 500 and we do not have any direction or the we are not like saying that public sector banks or private sector bank have a stronger impact in comparison to the other banks so we are going to keep it to two tailed if you know the direction if you know the difference which bank has a higher or more stronger impact so we then you are going to use one tailed let's start now here are our results and what we see here are is that the type of bank is moderating both the relationships the type of bank is moderating both relationships so there is significant moderation so type of bank is significantly moderating both the relationship but what is the r square in this case now let's go to r square okay then we didn't run the complete bootstrapping so we need to just run the pls algorithm again if you run complete bootstrapping you will get r square 0 0.570 so there has been an increase in the value of r square so when we subtract the included value minus the excluded value the difference is around 0.28 which is small effect although it is a small but it is significant now moving on to the interpretation how do we interpret it in order to clearly identify how the interpretation differs in terms of the groups including the size and precise nature of the effect we shall draw an interaction plot and when we draw the interaction plot we need to review the steepness of the line the group where steepness is higher the impact is stronger now how do you get this interaction plot you get it through this file the link will be shared in the description as well now here is the excel file and I have done the interaction plot for both of them but I'll do it in front of you so that you know how to do it so what we need is our independent variable is perceived organizational support and in the moderation or moderator 0 signifies private and 1 shows public so what are these coefficient independent variable mean the impact of POS on the dependent variable you add its est estimate over here so how do you add the estimate let's go to bootstrapping and where is the estimate this is the estimate 0.428 so you add 0.428 here moderator means the impact of moderator on the dependent variable where is it here it is 0 0.012 with a negative sign so minus 0 0.012 the interaction means the interaction of your 
independent variable with your moderator and this is your interaction this is the interaction or moderating effect so what's the value the coefficient 0.345 here it is 0.345 so what we do is we add it here and this is the plot we get how do we interpret it if we look at it in in a bit closer if we can okay let's go to our slides now if you look here what we see is that the dotted line which represents public sector bank is much steeper than the private sector banks so the impact of pos on collaborative culture in public sector bank is much higher in comparison to private sector bank so how do you interpret it the results revealed a significant moderating role of type of bank on the relationship between pos and collaborative culture pos is your independent variable collaborative culture is your dependent variable the plot shows a steeper and positive gradient for public sector see the public sector the dotted line is much steeper and this shows positive relationship between the two because low pos means low collaborative culture high pos means high collaborative culture thus this shows that the impact of pos in fostering collaborative culture is stronger in public sector banks the dotted line in comparison to the private sector banks now let's do the other one so here we've got oc and collaborative culture and we want to find out whether type of bank moderate the relationship or not so again the interaction plot you are independent variable organizational culture zero represent private sector banks one represents public sector banks you are independent variable the impact of oc on collaborative culture what's the path coefficient 0.387 here it is 0.387 and the type of bank it would remain the same and what about the moderating effect the interaction effect minus 0.353 here this negative sign actually means that in private sector banks the impact of oc on cc will be much stronger in comparison to the public sector banks if this was positive as was the case in pos the public sector banks had a or in public sector banks the impact of pos on cc was much stronger in comparison to private sector banks so why this negative sign here but positive sign here because private sector banks are represented by a zero and public sector banks are represented by a one by number one so this shows that in public sector banks pos will have a stronger impact on cc whereas in private sector banks organizational commitment will have a stronger impact on collaborative culture so let's add these values here the other values and i've got the graph here now the results revealed a significant moderating role of type of bank on the relationship between organizational commitment and collaborative culture the plot shows a steeper and positive gradient for private sector banks as compared to public sector banks see this clear line and this dotted line this clear line represents private sector bank and or banks and it is much steeper so this shows that in private sector banks organizational commitment will have a stronger impact on collaborative culture in comparison to public sector banks lower organizational commitment would mean low collaborative culture and higher organizational commitment would mean higher collaborative culture so this is how you do moderation with categorical variables in smart pls for further information this is a very good book that one can use and learn different techniques and further detail on moderation with categorical variables and continuous variables thank you very much